Alright, that's how you want to start the video? Just like that? Like this right here? Alright, alright, let's get out of here. What do you mean, mean alright? That's fine, alright, let's have a good video there. Alright, alright, we'll do some good videos today. Alright, alright. And shakes! Hey guys, Timbo here, Old School Labs, I'm with my son Aiden. Today is part three of our Gorilla Hep Keto Arm Drags, variations and alternatives, exactly. Today, we're going to go back to what we were talking about, I think in episode one, the handshake. So he grabs my hand. Yeah, I can start baiting. Uh, thumb pressure down locks, some of my grabs, turn, uh, finger locks, flips, stuff like that. But it's really hard to grab someone's hand and handshake. What if he's got good thumb locks and ah, stuff too? He can zap me. So what we're going to do is we're going to bait up the fact that as soon as I grab his hand and I start pulling and squeezing, he's going to jerk his hand back. Whoa, yeah, take me with him. We're going to use arm drags where he's dragging my arm across today. So, very simple, first technique, hep keto hand. He shakes my hand. My right hand is shaking, which means my right foot is back right now, okay? As soon as he pulls back, yeah, I come forward, I let him pull, I drop down to a knee, his hand goes up, I meet it, now I turn around and just slice my sword down. Slice, he pulls back, down, slice. Shaking hands, he pulls, down, slice. Shaking hands, he pulls back, down, slice. Very important detail of this variation, when I grab and shake his hand, I initially, as soon as my hand meets his hand and we close, I give him a tug back. That makes him react by pulling back out. Anytime you grab and pull someone, they always pull back. Very key point. So far, so good. Well, you can't shake my hand. I'm that again. Okay, exactly. It's hard to get people, when we're grappling, to actually shake a hand. Who's going to shake a hand? So I'm going to have to actually hand it over. Now if we're gripped up, he's holding the lapel, holding my sleeve, neutral grip like we've been talking about, like grapplers always see. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder. Today, we're going to do it as soon as we start. So as soon as we slap hands, we get ready to go before any grips or grabs. Yeah, I'm too late. So when his hands are free and floating, if my right hand wants to shake hands, I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to grab and I'm going to walk it right in. Boom. I Key point of this variation, I can't anticipate that he's not going to pull back before I actually make connection with this hand. If I think that my front hand is going to be able to grab his forearm and pull his hand all the way to this hand before he pulls back, he's going to give me resistance here. So as soon as this hand comes up to grab his forearm, my shaking hand actually comes up too to meet his hand like a trap. One more time, hands are free, grip fighting, push it in, he pulls back, slide down, turn. So, variation number one, we took the classic Korean hep keto handshake, they push, pull, come in to take it. Variation number two, we took that same handshake and worked it into a more grip fighting, uh, modern grappling application. But what happens if I go to shake his hand? Yeah, and he grabs my lapel. I'm too late. I wanted to get my hand shake, but his hand's already committed to grabbing. Let's talk about commitment for a minute. Commitment just grabbing someone's lapel and just hanging on for a ride? Or is commitment grabbing and pulling in? Yeah, now I'm engaged in the fight. I want to clinch up. Boom, and I'm going to come in. So when he grabs my lapel, yeah, and he pulls me in, I'm going to do the same thing I was doing when he was pulling my hand. Handshake, boom, and I came with the uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Gracie leverage. So he pulls my uh, lapel, yeah, last time, uh, episode number two, we were talking about when he pulls my sleeve, I lean back to make him pull forward so I can come in. Same thing this time. When he pulls my lapel, I don't need to pull back. He's already initiating. He's pulling in. So as he pulls in, my hands come together. I trip. And as he pulls in, pulls in, I step. Now I'm leaning. My connection is my shoulder is pushing on his bicep. I'm pushing. Now it's as simple as me turning and cutting low again. Can you tell about this technique? When he grabs my sleeve, yeah, he's probably going to grab and pull. But I need to make him. 
pull. So what I'm going to do is as soon as he grabs my lapel, I immediately trap his hand. I grab his wrist with both sides and I trap. I grab and I pull in, which makes him want to pull back. Whether he's pulling my lapel back or pulling his hand free from the trap, I've made him pull so that way I can come in. Same thing as all my other techniques. I am pulling and anticipating for them to pull back. Up till now, three variations. Variation number one, my aggressive Donald Trump handshake. I pull, he pulls back, I step, come down, chop the sword down. Variation number two, he's a grappler. He doesn't give me his hand. I hand drag it over. He pulls back, yeah, same alter alternative. Number three, he doesn't even play with his hands. He grabs me. Yeah, he grabs me, pulls back. I come through. Same That's thing again. If he grabs me, but he does let go, he's not committed to the grab. So he's going to grab me. I grab. I force him to the let go. I'm going to force him to let go. There's going to be many ways to get him to let go. Another day, another episode, another variations. We'll go into that. Today, because I'm a big guy and he's a little guy, I'm just going to grab both sides. Roll my knuckles I in until he lets go. He grabs, double knuckle, I make him let go, and I gently pull. I don't arm drag hard to come around. I want him to still pull back. So I gently pull. He grabs, he lets go, I gently pull. When he pulls his arm back, I shoot on him. There you have it, guys. Uh, which one's my favorite? I don't know. I love this whole uh, aspect of gorilla hapkido, hapkido jujitsu, of when you pull someone, you anticipate for them to pull you back or pull back away from you, and that's when you go. The best way to attack and move forward on someone is when what? They're moving backwards. So pull. When they pull back, you go in. Keep it old school. Hmm.